Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw yellow rainbow friends. So first let's come down towards the left hand side of our page and we're gonna start by drawing a nice big circle for our eye on the right. Now coming inside of that, we're going to draw in another circle just right in the middle here. To close off the eye now, we're gonna start on the top and we're just gonna curve our line all the way around, curving that around and in towards the right. Coming in behind this now, we're going to frame in the head. So coming over towards the top right, we're going to start by curving a line that comes all the way around and we're gonna bring this down towards the bottom left-hand side of our page. Moving back up towards our line on the top here now, we're going to start on the point there and we're going to dip this line in, curving it back out towards the middle. Now from here, we're going to connect these two lines. So over on the left-hand side, we're going to curve this line all the way over and we're gonna to continue to stretch this out until we connect that over on the point. Moving in towards the middle now, we're going to draw on a curved line to separate the mouth. So we're gonna arch this over and then in. And now let's come on top and draw in our left eye. So moving over towards the top, we're going to draw a dome shape. So we're gonna curve this up, arching this back down and in. Moving underneath that now, we'll replicate that again. So we're going to arch this up, curving that down and in. And then one last time, we're going to draw in a small curved line on the bottom, arching that around and then up for the highlight. Now from here, we're going to frame in the rest of the body. So in the bottom here, underneath the face, we're going to draw in a small arch line from left to right. Over on the left-hand side, now we're going to bring a line that comes straight out. And now from here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the bottom. Moving over towards the right, we're going to draw in another diagonal line, just making that slightly shorter. Now we're going to draw in the right arm. So moving further in, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up towards the top. Over on the top portion here now, we're going to curve this line and stretch this all the way out to the right. We're going to continue on this line now, and we're going to curve this all the way around and over towards the side of our page, arching this down. Starting in the corner again here, we're going to curve a small line that comes in. And then moving back in on that line, we're going to curve this down towards the bottom. Moving over towards the left now, starting back on this line, we're going to arch this line all the way around, bringing that up towards the right hand side. And now starting from here, we're going to continue to bring this over. So we're going to start back on this line and we're going to arch this up, curving that back down, connecting it at the point there. Moving over towards the middle now to close off the torso, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right, bringing that in on our wing there. And now we're going to draw in our left wing. So starting on the left-hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then up towards the face. Once we get towards the end of the beak here now, we're going to start back on this line and we're just gonna curve this down towards the bottom left-hand side of our page. Now from here, we're going to draw in a small arch line, bringing that over and in. Starting back in the triangle shape area here now, we're gonna curve this back down. Moving back over towards where our square in the middle is here, we're going to start on the bottom. We're gonna arch this line out, bringing that over towards the middle. And now from here, we're going to start by arching this line all the way over and connecting that at the point. Let's close off the rest of the body as we come down now. So on the left-hand side, we're going to draw a small curved diagonal line as we come down. And then moving below that, we're going to leave a small gap and we're just going to draw a small arch line that curves around and in towards the right. Now let's come in and frame in our left leg. So starting over on the top here, we're going to curve our line around and then in towards the bottom. We'll move down on a diagonal here on this bottom curved line. We're gonna curve this around and then down. Now from here on top, we're just going to arch a small line that arches up and then in. And now on the bottom here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes across towards the left. On either line now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the middle, meeting at the point there. Now let's flip over to the right. So starting on the right, we're gonna come up a little bit higher. 
We're going to curve this line all the way around, making sure we touch that line, connecting it there, curving that in. And then starting on the right, we're gonna replicate that, coming up slightly higher, we're going to curve this around, arching this in. And we wanna make sure these lines end on a bit of a diagonal here. Now from here on the top, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing as we come up. We're just going to make this a little bit smaller, bringing that out. From here on either side, now we're going to draw a small diagonal line that comes in towards the center. Now from here, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes down towards the middle. Let's move over to the right and draw in the tail portion now. So on the top, underneath our wing here, we're going to curve this line all the way around and we're going to arch this up and over on the right. And then now from here, where the point is here, we're going to curve this back down. So we're going to arch this all the way around, curving that around and in towards our foot. And now we're going to come up on top and draw in the propeller portion. So over in this small area here, we're going to draw a small diagonal line that comes in towards the side of the face. And we'll just extend this out. So starting back on our top line here, we're going to continue to bring this diagonal line out towards the right. We're gonna drop a little bit lower and replicate this. So we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes all the way out and then up, ending that at the same height. And then now we'll just close this off with a curved line from left to right. We're gonna come down and replicate that. So we're gonna draw another curved line. And then leaving a bigger gap this time, we're just going to do that one more time. Now from here, we're going to draw some lines on a diagonal as they come up towards the top of our page. So leaving a small gap here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes all the way in and up towards the top. We'll come over to the right, lining this up at the same height, and we're just gonna end that at the same height as well. And then now from here, we're gonna close this off with a straight line. From here on the left side now, we're going to draw a diagonal line from the corner here, and we're going to bring this all the way over and in towards the side of the head. And now we're going to continue to bring this in towards the line there. So we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes over and in. Now from here on the top, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes down towards the right hand side of our page. And then starting underneath here, lining this up at the same height behind here, we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes out. And then now from here, we're going to close this off with a diagonal line from the bottom to the top. And that is it. That's how you draw yellow rainbow friends from Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial, and I will see you all in the next one.